the majority leader. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on Wednesday again shot down Democrats' efforts to introduce a measure increasing direct stimulus payments to Americans from $600 to $2,000 for a vote. Which has no realistic path to quickly pass the Senate. The legislation swiftly passed the House on Monday, and while it does grant President Donald Trump's demands to increase direct payments, McConnell said it neglects Trump's other unrelated wishes. To ensure the president was comfortable signing the bill into law, the Senate committed to beginning one process that would combine three of the president's priorities, larger direct checks, a repeal of Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, and further efforts to review the integrity of our democracy. McConnell's maneuver combining all three measures all but ensures each fails. Democrats don't support ending social media company protections or reviewing election integrity, an issue important to Trump's efforts to cast doubt on the outcome of November's election. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer described the move as a cynical gambit and said the legislation would never become law. So I want to be very clear about one thing. There is no other game in town beside the House bill. McConnell argued well-to-do families in New York and California that hadn't been adversely affected by the pandemic didn't need an extra $2,000. But Senator Bernie Sanders, standing next to a large printout of one of Trump's tweets calling for $2,000 as soon as possible, hit back reading out comments from Americans about the hardships they face and what $2,000 would mean to them. One person writes $2,000 is the difference between keeping our apartment and being evicted. Here's another. $2,000 means I can afford to feed my three kids. With a new U.S. Congress due to be sworn into office in just a few days, McConnell's remarks suggested the legislation that passed the House on Monday will simply expire.